miles per hour and a pressure of 979 millibars. At 12.4 degrees south, 53.1 degrees east, the storm is a Category 1 on the Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale according to Force 13 analysis. It is also a Stage 2 on the CDPS scale, currently with significant wind speeds and significant rainfall potential, moderate to significant storm size, and a significant threat to land at this time. So what are we looking at CDPS-wise? A stage 2 on the CDPS scale, meaning it could be significant when it does come to the impacts it could bring to land at this time. So, here it is, 12.4 degrees south, 53.1 degrees east, the storm is expected to head south. And you can see by the models here in a little bit how exactly it's going to occur and just how intense the storm could get up to Category 4 status currently being projected by some models. So this is currently around um, 530 miles away from Port Louis, from St. Dennis 535 miles, and from Port Martyrin 732 miles away. No watches or warnings are in effect at this time, although that is expected to change as the storm does continue to move, as land areas could get impacted, such as Port Louis. So here we are with the models. This is what precipitation is looking like at this time. You can see the storm moving southward, and you can see its general track there looking as if this storm is going to be moving out of the picture here within the next couple of days, um, which is definitely a good thing. By Monday, this will definitely be out of the picture, and that's five days out. So what are sea surface temperatures looking like exactly? Well, this is what they're looking like. And you can see right here up to 30 degrees Celsius water temperatures um, looking like 29 is going to be what this storm mostly gets to. So here's the storm as it heads south. You can't really see overly well in an accurate sense how exactly um, the intensity is going to be, but Category 4 or even Category 5 peak um, looks like it could be possible from the storm. So, this is it by Monday. It's definitely out of the picture, just as said before, but still, relatively intense winds are possible. So, for tropical storm force winds, San Bava 0%, Port Louis 40%, St. Dennis 20%, and from Port, Port Martha 55%. So what are the models looking like currently when it does come to intensity of the storm? doesn't look like it's going to get overly intense, but the h wharf is saying it could get crazy intense up to Category 5. So here we are, uh, and you can see now the track. The general consensus is pretty good there. Sea surface temperatures are also looking like they have good general consensus. So here's what the satellite's looking like for the storm. You can see it right here being analyzed. And uh, the storm generally a smaller one, but it does look like an eye is beginning to develop. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find us on Facebook, Force 13, all in text. And it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us there. If you want it to feel like Christmas every other week, you can also become a Patreon on the project. You can help Force 13 become even better in the process. Find out more information at patreon.com forward slash force 13.